Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, I need four volunteers. <laughs> One, two. Come on. It's not that bad. It'd be great fun. <laughs> he said. <laughs> Three, four. Okay, so uh, I need two of you standing here and here, and then the other two standing here and here facing him. So it's sort of like a, a group of four. And I'm going to teach a dance, sort of like a square dance. <laughs> Luckily, it's not real complicated. <laughs> So um, if, if you're going to do this, you need you need two two ropes uh, about ten feet long, works fine. And we start out like this. If I'm doing it with kids, um, it's terrible because the kids start jerking on the rope and pull it out of the hand of the other one, and as you'll see, that would be catastrophic. <laughs> so what I usually tell the kids to do is wrap it around once. Um, with adults, maybe not, but I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's best, the, the idea is we're going to do a, a dance. We'll have a, a couple figures that we do. And as we do the figures, the ropes will tend to get tangled up, okay? And um, the colors of the ropes don't matter. I mean, you could, if, if, in other words, I would consider this to be the same situation if the green one were in front and the yellow one behind. The only reason I have, it's, it's good to have two different colors so that the people in the audience can see, it's, it's much easier to see how they're, they're twisted up if they're, if they're different colors. But fr from your point of view, it doesn't matter which rope is in front or in back, so this, this position would be exactly the same if these two people were in front and so forth. Uh, similarly, if, if two people are swapped. I don't, the, the people don't matter. The only thing that matters is the tangle of the ropes. So the, the people are completely, they're all identical from your point of view, okay? <laughs> and so, so it doesn't matter who's standing where, it doesn't matter what color the rope is. The only thing that matters is the configuration of the tangle in, in the middle. So, um, there are three figures to the dance, and the first one is always done like this. It, I'll call it twist, and what happens is this person raises your hand, you step under, and you just swap places. So that's, this would be the result, uh, uh, we'll, the starting position will be the two parallel ropes always, okay? So this would be the result after a single twist, and let's do twist again. Uh, no, no, no. It's always the person in this position raises, and the person in this position goes down. Yeah, everybody should pay attention because you're going to get all mixed up. And so when I say twist, if you happen to be standing here, lift your hand and so forth. So let's do one more twist. Okay, I think we've, I think we've got it. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the next figure isn't really much of a figure, but I'll call it display. And the idea is to show the tangle to the people in the audience. So when I say display, the two people, whichever two people happen to be standing here, sort of hold your, your hand down, and the two people in back hold it up, and so the audience can see it, and the audience claps. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's, uh, let's display again. Okay, so um, the, the idea here is you can see what twist is doing, right? If we just did twist after twist after twist, the, the ropes would get more and more tangled uh, this way. The, a twist is sort of like a half twist, right? I mean, with two twists, you'd have one complete loop around. If you did four twists, you'd have two complete loops around and so forth. 